This video is the best calf workout with resistance bands on YouTube. Hi, I'm Discipline Dave, where I put the technique in your physique. Now let's talk about why I made this video. My intention was not to make this video at first, but because I put this post up on the community board and I said in the post that hit the like button if you would like to see a full workout with just calves. That post had over a hundred likes. So I said to myself, why don't I go ahead and give the people what they want? I also noticed that this video has over 25,000 views. And for a small channel like mine, that's actually pretty good. So I was thinking that with all that combination when it comes to a lot of likes on there and a lot of people really like this video, I said to myself, I'm gonna make a better video. So if you've seen this video, this video is actually better than that one. In addition, this video is a part of a series, the Ultimate Workout Series. And next week, there'll be another muscle group that you can work out, add it to the workout schedule at the end of the video. So hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single workout that I post every single week. And you also wanna watch the video till the end because at the end of the video, I'm gonna go over sets and reps and how to incorporate this workout during your workout schedule. Now, during this video, it's very important that you pay attention to the technique and form that I'm using because this is the key to giving you good definition and build muscle in your calves. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now to prepare for our first exercise, after the warm up, we're gonna put our door stopper at the bottom of the door. So all we're gonna do with our warm up, with no resistance, just stand on our toes and lift straight up, all the way up, just like this. So now that we're all warmed up, let's go ahead and add some resistance. Now we're gonna grab our handles and we're gonna put them over the top of our shoulders and we're gonna do that same motion, but now it's just gonna be a little bit more difficult because we have resistance with it. And notice how the bands just go over the top of my shoulders and all I'm doing is lifting straight up to the sky with my toes and contracting my calves. So we're gonna freeze it right here for a good old technique check. You wanna make sure your heels are off the ground and the key to this exercise is that you wanna go up as far as you can. Don't be afraid that you're gonna tilt over. That's what the bands are for. They're gonna hold you in place so you can get the maximum contraction out of this exercise. Now this next exercise is gonna require you to stand on something. This is a book that I like. It's called Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Very good at motivation for working out, but you can use any book. So you're gonna place your foot on the book itself or any object, and then you're gonna lift straight up on one leg. And as you see here, you may have some trouble balancing, but don't worry about that. Just go ahead and make sure if you lose balance that you get right back in the fight and complete your set. And remember, sets and reps are at the end of the video. Now we're gonna freeze it right here so you can make sure you're doing this properly. Now where you're gonna place your foot on the edge of that book or that object is right at the end of the toes, at the beginning of the ball of your feet, where your toes bend. That is the key to making sure you get the full benefit of this exercise. Now this next exercise is very important. 
But what's even more important is that you hit the like button. So if you like what you're seeing so far, I would greatly appreciate it. Now this exercise is not gonna require any bands. This is a squat on your toes. So take a look at what we're doing here. As you see, I'm on my toes as I squat down and up and I'm trying to maintain that throughout the entire squat. Now this next exercise is going to require us to use a loop flat band. It's very important to use a loop flat band. I'm going to show you why it is. Here are examples of why this doesn't work with your standard tube style bands. So as you see with the tube style bands, because they're round, it's very hard for them to stay on the feet when you're reaching maximum contraction with this exercise. So I would recommend using loop style flat bands. The ones I'm using today are by Undersun Fitness Bands. So just go ahead and click the link in the description if you're interested in purchasing those bands. Also the tube style bands I was using by Toro Bands. I'll leave a link for those too. All right, let's get to the workout. So as you see, you're gonna put the bands on the edge of your toes there. And that way you get good surface area with that flat band and you're gonna just flex forward as much as you can. You can also add some more tension by going ahead and reaching up and grabbing the band and pulling it back if you don't think it's tough enough for you. Now we're gonna freeze it right here for a good old technique check. Now a lot of people focus on just the pushing part of this exercise when you're flexing your feet forward but you also want to focus on the eccentric, the part that's coming back in that negative rep, because you want to make sure that it comes all the way back so you can get that full stretch in your calves so it can get ready to brace to go ahead and get that full contraction. Because what develops a muscle is the maximum amount of stretch and the maximum amount of contraction. Now let's talk about how we should fit this routine in our schedule. I recommend working out five days a week with two days off. I want you to do two muscle groups a day for an exception on leg day. I want you to have one day dedicated to legs. Each exercise, I want you to do three sets with 15 to 20 reps of each set with one minute rest in between. So day one, I recommend triceps and biceps. Day two, chest and traps. Day three, abs and forearms. Day four, shoulders and back. Day five, I want you to work out your legs. I have a great video that I posted up last week that's gonna show you how to work out your legs and you're gonna pair that with the calf workout we did today. Now day six and seven, I want you to rest. And it's very important that you take your rest seriously don't do anything, I just want you to relax so your muscles can recover for your next week's workout. Now this video goes great with the leg workout. So go ahead and click that video next. And if you've already got your legs covered and you wanna work out some other muscle groups, go ahead and click the playlist so that way you can make sure that you can work out those other muscle groups.